I just spent $30 on four phones. Do they work? Are they any good? Let's find out. So a bit of background, I was browsing eBay and I saw a listing for four phones, which were in theory, some kind of Nokia Lumia phone, um, a Galaxy S6 Edge with a faulty charging port and two working ID2Me ID1s. Now ID2Me is apparently, uh, I think a Swedish company or maybe Danish. And they're sort of like rebranded Chinese phones, but they've got a very non-traditional launcher on them. And I believe these phones are from about 2016 and the company went out, went out of business after like literally a year. So I put a bid in and no one else put any bids in at all. And I won it for the starting price of $30, but it ended up being 50 after taxes and shipping and whatever. I'm not really sure what to expect as the listing only had one picture, which was all four phones face up. Uh, none of them were turned on and there's no pictures of the backs of any of them, so I'm really going in blind. The packaging for this was pretty non-traditional. Start out with a box for what looks like a one terabyte SSD, but no, it's, it's actually the Nokia phone. Sure, whatever. We've got what looks like a USB-C cable, but no, it's actually the S6. And we have a single ID2Me box, which is probably the box for one of the ID2Me phones, but actually both of them are in here. Along with this back, it looks like a replacement back, completely unused for one of them. And they do both have red, black backs on them, but the, the replacement one is red. Here's the first ID2Me phone. Um, it doesn't look that used. The back is in pretty nice condition. I'm just gonna try turning it on. And it actually has some charge. Okay, it looks like this one has been wiped. I'm just gonna set it up. The second one is a bit more used than the first one, but it's still in quite nice condition. And with the second one set up, it is also running Android 5.1 with 16 gigs of storage, and uh, it seems to work perfectly fine. Moving on to the S6, it's also in really nice shape. Um, it is AT&T variant, which is unfortunate. I wish it was unlocked. At least it's not Verizon. It's got this sticker on the back, which I'll peel off at some point, but let's make sure it boots. Hmm, that's good. All of these were charged. I, I didn't even have to plug them in. I just took them out of the box. And crappy at and branding. And yeah, this one's been wiped. And yeah, this phone appears to work perfect. Oh my God. No, I don't want this stupid blowware. This phone appears to be working totally fine. It's got a ton of AT&T bloatware, but whatever. And oh my God, this is a terrible settings app. Um, system, about device. Okay, it's running Android 6.0.1. I believe it can be updated to seven though. And um, I'm gonna check the storage. It's got 32 gigs. Annoyingly, the S6 Edge or the, and the regular S6 don't have SD card slots, which is very un-Samsung of Samsung. It's basically an S20, but Whatever, let's move on to our Nokia phone. This isn't really worth anything, but it'd still be really fun to play around with. I've never really used Windows Phone and I'm really curious what kind of experience it'll be. Nokia. Look, you can see my face. Windows Phone. There's no SIM card, I don't care. Um. Welcome to your Windows phone. Wow, I love Windows phone. It's the best operating system. And what's the difference between English and English? Oh, it's, it's probably English UK. Okay, whatever. Next. There is no, I don't care about the SIM card. Except, uh, custom. No, Microsoft. No, no, no. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh my God. No, Microsoft. Not. This is ridiculous.
Do 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 do. No, it doesn't force you to make a Microsoft account, which is weird because the desktop version of Windows does. A few more apps still need to finish installing. It should take another moment or two. This phone honestly feels really nicely made. Like, it's actually pretty impressive. Um, sh no. Oh, I need to connect to the internet. Okay, whatever. No. Oh, look at that. It's, it's Windows Phone. Hi, um, is there a settings app somewhere? I don't really know how to use the CY. Oh, there it is. Is there like an about? About. It's running Windows Phone 8.0. Um, how much storage does it have? phone storage. It looks like it has 32 gigs. Okay, yeah, this is interesting. I'm really excited to mess around with Windows Phone a bit more because it's a very non-traditional UI. And honestly, I really like the way this UI looks. It, it's quite a bit nicer than Android, iOS, whatever. Yeah, I'm curious to mess around with this a bit more in the future. Honestly, this went way better than I was expected. I was expected that I would have to really fight to get, like, even the, the working device is working, but honestly, all of them were already charged. It's it, it's really impressive, and I think the only thing that's really going to need any work is the S6, which I'll need to do a charging port on here, and I'll probably try to make the back clear at some point. So, uh, yeah, this will be a fun project. So, here we are. I've done a bit of testing off-camera, um, and just making sure they all charge and everything. All of these phones do mostly work, except for the bad charging port on the S6, but I already knew about that. And then I wanted to make sure they were all unlocked. This one takes the wrong size of SIM card, so I couldn't really fit a SIM card in and test it. It's okay, I didn't really plan to use it on a carrier. I mostly just want to mess around with Windows phones. These two are unlocked, but they have issues um, with T-Mobile getting the data to work. I think maybe if I mess around with the APNs on them, it'll help, um, and I'll probably get it working. This, the S6, was locked to AT&T, and AT&T wouldn't unlock it for me because there is a balance, an unpaid balance associated with it, so I am probably going to mess up the seller and ask if there's if the balance is paid off on their end. And if it if it is, I'll complain to AT&T and say your software is broken. And if it isn't, then oh well, I might have to replace the motherboard in it. Other than that, all four phones seem to work fine. And I put a red back on one of the ID2Me phones just so I can tell it apart from the other one because they they look identical. I am pretty happy because. You know, $50 for these four phones works out to be only a little bit over $10 each, which is amazingly cheap, and they all work other than this one, which is still mostly working. Yeah, I'll see you in the next video, which will probably be uh, replacing the charging port, battery, and possibly also the motherboard in the S6.